humans, homo sapiens, aka everyone who is watching this. Unless there are aliens watching, then um, I just wanted to say hi. And to everyone else, hello and welcome back to our channel. I'm your host Emily and today we are counting down our list of the top 10 extinct human species we were never taught about in school. Now I was actually never taught about human species, so I'm excited to get into this video. Number 10, Homo gotangensis. Homo gotangensis are from about 1.5 8 million years ago to potentially as late as 0.8 million years ago, meaning that if the species is considered valid, they would be one of the earliest and one of the longest lived species of Homo. They had big teeth suitable for chewing plant materials. It was small brained and was most likely an ecological specialist. This means that they could thrive in a wide variety of environmental conditions and they had a varied diet. They apparently produced and used stone tools and may have even have made fire as there is evidence for burnt animal bones associated with their remains. This species stood just over 3 feet tall and weighed about 110 pounds. It could walk on 2 feet when on the ground, but probably spent a considerable amount of time in trees, feeding, sleeping, and escaping predators. Most of the researchers believe it lacked speech and language skills due to its anatomy and geological age. Researchers think that it was a close relative of Homo sapiens, but not necessarily a direct ancestor. Number 9. Homo habilis. Homo habilis, nicknamed Handyman, is an extinct species of archaic human from the early Pleistocene of East and South Africa about 2.31 million years ago to 1.65 million years ago. Homo habilis is the least similar to modern humans of all species in the genus Homo, and its classification as Homo has been a subject of controversial debate since its first proposal in the 1960s. Homo habilis were short and had disproportionately long arms compared to modern humans. I just gotta say, the visualization of that makes me laugh. <laughs> they also had a cranial capacity slightly less than half the size of modern humans. Now, despite ape like morphology of their bodies, their remains are often accompanied by primitive stone tools. Number 8 Homo rule defenses. Homo rule defenses are from 1.9 million to 1.8 million years ago. Their physical build, weight, and height is still unknown due to to the security of cranial fossils. Paleoanthropologist Maeve Leakey and her team announced the discovery of a face and two jawbones belonging to Homo rude defenses on August 8, 2012. The males average 5 feet 3 inches in height and 130 pounds in weight, and females are 4 feet and 11 inches and weigh 112 pounds. They had small brain capacity and had large cheek teeth and thick enamel. They are not associated with tools, but dental anatomy suggests some processing of plant or meat fiber before consumption, though the mouth could still effectively chew through mechanically challenging food, indicating tool use did not greatly affect their diet. Number 7. Homo ergaster. Homo ergasters are believed to be from 1.4 to 1.7 million years ago, though a broader time range is possible. They had thinner bones, more protrusive face, and a lower forehead. This species had reduced sexual dysmorphism, meaning males and females were extremely similar, a smaller, less protrusive face, and a smaller dental arcade, and a larger cranial capacity. Homo ergaster remained stable for 500,000 years in Africa before disappearing from the fossil record around 1.4 million years ago. No identifiable cause has been attributed to this disappearance. But not only was Homo ergaster like modern humans in body, but also more in organization and being social than in any earlier species. It was thought for a long time that they were restricted in physical ability ability to regulate breathing and to produce complex sounds. This was based on cervical vertebrae, which were far narrow than in later humans. However, later discoveries of cervical vertebrae in Demisi, Georgia, which were 300,000 years older than those of the Turkana boy, were well within the normal range of human vertebrae range. Number 6. Red Deer Cave People The Red Deer Cave People were the most recently known prehistoric population that do not resemble modern humans. Fossils dated between 14,000 and 11,500 years old were found in Red Deer Cave and Logan Cave in China. Mix of archaic and modern features, they are tentatively thought to be a separate species of humans that became extinct without contributing to the gene pool of modern humans. Evidence shows large deer were cooked in the Red Deer Cave, giving the people their name. Now, during the period the Red Deer Cave people lived, all other prehistoric human species such as Nathandro 
turtles were thought to have died out. In spite of their relatively recent age, the fossils exhibit features of more primitive humans. The Red Deer cave dwellers had the following distinctive features that differ from modern humans flat face, broad nose, jutting jaw with no chin, large molars, prominent brows, thick skull bones, and moderate sized brain. Although the physical features of the Red Deer cave people have suggested that they may be a previously undiscovered species of prehistoric human, the scientists who discovered them are reluctant to classify them as a new species. Number 5. Homo florensius Homo florensius, nicknamed Hobbit, is widely believed to be an extinct species in the genus Homo. They inhabited in the islands of Flores, Indonesia, until the arrival of modern humans about 50,000 years ago. The remains of an individual that would have stood about 3.5 feet in height were discovered in 2003 on the island of Flores, Indonesia. Partial skeletons of nine individuals have been recovered, including one complete skull. These remains have been the subject of intense research to determine whether they represent a species distinct from modern humans. They are remarkable for their small body and brain, and for their survival until relatively recent times, possibly as recent as 12,000 years ago. Recovered alongside the skeletal remains were stone tools from archaeological horizons ranging from 94,000 to 13,000 years ago. Now, some scholars suggest that the historical Homo florensius may be connected to folk memory de Ubo Gogo Mist prevalent on the Isle of Flores, and I hope I said that right. <laughs> Number 4. Homo Antecessor Homo Antecessor were recorded in the Spanish Sierra productive archaeological site from 1.2 to 0.8 million years ago. They were about 5.5 to 6 feet tall, and males weighed around 200 pounds. Their brain sizes were large, but smaller than the average of modern humans. Very little is known about the physiological of Homo Ancestor. Homo antecessor may have been right-handed, a trait that makes the species different from other apes. This hypothesis is based on tomography techniques. It's also claimed that the frequency range of audition is similar to Homo sapiens, which makes us suspect that they used a symbolic language and were able to reason. A team is currently pursuing a DNA map of Homo antecessor based on their teeth eruption pattern. Researchers think that Homo antecessor had the same development stages as Homo sapiens, though probably at a faster pace. Other significant features demonstrated by the species are protruding occipital bun, a low forehead, and a lack of a strong chin. The molar was described as well worn and from an individual between 20 and 25 years of age. Additional findings announced on the 27th of March 2008 included the discovery of a mandible fragment, stone flakes, and evidence of animal bone processing. Number 3. Homo naledi. Homo naledi were discovered in 2013 in the Rising Star Cave, Cradle of Human kind South Africa dating 335,000 to 236,000 years ago. The initial discovery comprises of 1,550 specimens representing 737 elements and at least 15 different individuals. They had a small cranial capacity and are estimated to have average 4 feet 9 inches in height and 88 pounds in weight. They are more arboreal than other homo but are adapted to climbing and suspensory behavior in trees than endurance running. Tooth anatomy suggests consumption of gritty food covered in particles such as dirt or dust. Though they have not been associated with stone tools or any indication of material culture, they appear to have been dexterous enough to produce and handle tools and likely manufactured early or middle stone age industries. Because the skeletons show such a strange mixture of modern and ancient features, it's not clear where they belong in the human evolutionary tree. Unconfirmed reports suggest that they were actually alive just a few hundred thousand years ago, and if that age is confirmed, we have a new mystery to explore. How could a human that looks so primitive survive until so recently. Number 2. Homo heidelbergensis Homo heidelbergensis are likely to be descended from Africa. They had a larger brain case overlapping the average of modern humans and had more advanced tools and behavior. It has been given a separate species of classification. Male heidelbergensis average about 5 feet 9 inches tall and 136 pounds. Females average 5 feet and 2 inches and 112 pounds. Findings in a pit of Spain of 20 eight human skeletons suggest that the Homo heidelbergensis might have been the first species of Homo genus to bury its dead. They also acquired a pre-linguistic system of communication. No forms of art or sophisticated artifacts other than stone tools have been uncovered, although red orca, a mineral that can be used to mix a red pigment which is useful as paint, has been found around Terra Amata excavations in the south of France. The morphology of the outer and middle ear suggests that they had auditory sensitivity similar to modern humans 
humans and very different from chimpanzees. They're probably able to differentiate between many different sounds. Dental wear analysis suggests that they were likely to be right handed as modern people. 500,000 year old hafted stone points used for hunting are found and tested by a way as use wear replication. And coming in at number one is Homo erectus. Homo erectus are from about 2 million years ago. As the name implies, Homo erectus is the first known Homo species that stood fully upright. It featured other modern human proportions distinct to those from apes, shorter arms relative to the torso, and long legs adapted for walking and running rather than climbing trees. They had the cranial capacity greater than that of Homo habilis, overlapping that of the Homo sapiens, the frontal bone is less sloped, and the dental arcade is smaller. The face is less protrusive, with large brow ridges and less prominent cheekbones. They stood about 5 feet 10 inches, and to put that in perspective, only 17% of modern male humans are taller. They were slender, with long arms and legs. The sexual dysmorphium between the males and females was slightly greater than seen in Homo sapiens, with males being about 25% larger than females. Homo erectus, however, used primitive tools. It has been suggested that Homo erectus may have been the first hominoid to use rafts to travel over oceans, which is just crazy to me. East African sites also show some possible evidence that fire was utilized by early humans. Archaeologists also found red clay shards dated to be 1.42 million years old. Now reheating these shards shows that the clay must be heated to 400 degrees Celsius aka 752 degrees Fahrenheit to harden so they most likely used fire for this. For their diet, meat was a major part of it. Homo erectus was probably the first hominoid to live in small, familiar band societies similar to modern hunter gather band societies. Homo erectus is thought to be the first hominoid to hunt in coordinated groups, use complex tools, and care for infirm or weak companions. Well, that's all for our list of the top 10 extinct human species we were never taught about in school. I for one am glad that we used Homo sapiens and have an easy name to pronounce. Did any of these surprise you? Let me know down in the comments below. And hey, while you're down there, why not like and subscribe? I'm your host Emily, and I'll see you next time. De Sierra de Atapurca. De Atapurca, a productive archaeological. Archaeological. Archaeological.